Councillor Lewis. Four. Councillor McLaughlin. Four. Councillor McManus. Four. Councillor Meaden. Four. Councillor Mooney. Four. Councillor Musflat. Yes. Councillor Norbury. Against. Councillor Bogle. Four. Councillor Venny. Four. Excuse me, that wasn't registered, that against them. It should be seven now. Councillor Robinson. Abstain. Councillor Rowland. Four. Councillor Smith. Against. Councillor Spriggs. Against. Councillor Stapleton. Against. Sorry, Paul. Councillor Stewart. Four. Councillor Sullivan. Four. Councillor Sykes. Four. Councillor Usher. Four. Councillor Walsh. Against. Councillor Watt. Not voting. Councillor <coughs> Whittingham. Four. Councillor Williams. Ivy Williams. Councillor Jerry Williams. Councillor Steve Williams. Four. Councillor Williamson. Four. And Councillor Wood. Four. Thank you, members.
your voting for as we continue until half past nine. Moved by Councillor Gilchrist. Abstentions one. So that appointment is carried. 
now to Councillor Bernie Mooney to become Chair of the Standards and Constitutional Oversight Committee. Do I have a mover? Councillor Bill Davis, second to Councillor George Davis. Mr. Mayor, if, if, if I may, uh, just put on record before the form because I'm spokesperson on the Standards and Constitutional Oversight Committee. Put on record our thanks to Councillor Moira McLaughlin for the year she chaired the committee in a fair and even handed manner. I'm glad we get rid of all say. So, open the voting system. Members cast their votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes in favour 40, votes against 17, abstentions 1, so that appointment is carried. Now Councillor Angela Davis to become Vice Chair of the Standards and Constitutional Oversight Committee. Do I have a mover? So Councillor Phil Davis. Secondly, Councillor George Davis. Open electronic voting system. Cast your votes. Everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes in favour 38, votes against 19, abstentions 1, so that appointment is also carried. Now, um, to the recommendations in the report. One, the Council agreed to revise constitution and membership of committees for the remainder of the 2018-19 municipal year, including deputies, having regard to the political proportionality requirements of the Local Government for Housing Act 1989 and the Local Government Committee to Political Groups Regulations 1990 and relevant case law. Two, Council agreed the appointment of the chairs and vice chairs we have just already voted on there. Three, Council agree the names of appointees to committees may be given to the Director of Governance and Assurance following this meeting, if not already done so. Do I have a mover? Yes, Councillor Bill Davis, seconder. Councillor George Davis. Open the voting system. Cast your votes. <coughs> against zero, abstentions one. So that is carried. Now we go to item 18, oh, sorry, item 11. That would be nice if item 18. <laughs> item 11. Matters requiring approval or consideration by the council. Councillors, we now turn to item 11 on pages 73 to 158 of the council agenda. That's pages 73 to 158, which includes recommendations requiring approval or consideration by the council. Item 11 on pages 73 to 158. Item 11A, with reference to the Pensions Committee held on 16th of July 2018, and the 10 refers, the Council is requested to agree the revisions to the Pension Board's term of reference and their adoption into the Council's constitution. I now invite Councillor Paul Doughty, Chair of the Pensions Committee, and Councillor George Davis, Vice Chair of the Pensions Committee, to move and second the recommendations as contained on page 73 of your agenda papers. So moved, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. And second, thank you, Councillor George Davis. Um, so, voting on item, agenda item 11A, open the electronic voting system. Cast your votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes in favour 60, votes against 0, abstentions 1. So that is carried. Uh, 
Item 11B, with reference to the Licensing Act 2003 Committee held the 17th of October 2018, minute 9 refers, the Council is requested to approve the Draft Statement of Policy, Gambling Act 2005. I now invite Councillor Paul Stewart, Chair of Licensing Act 2003 Committee, Councillor Tony Norbury, Vice Chair of Licensing Act 2003 Committee, to move the second of the recommendations contained on pages 87 to 134 of your agenda papers. So moved, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, focusing on <coughs> agenda item 11B, open the electronic voting system. Please cast your votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Thank you. Votes in favour 60, votes against 0, abstentions 1. So that is carried. Item 11C. With reference to the Audit and Risk Management Committee held on 19th of November 2018, minute 36 refers, the Council has requested to approve the Code of Corporate Governance set out on pages 135 to 148 of the agenda. I now invite Councillor Adrian Jones, Chair of the Audit and Risk Management Committee, and Councillor Ron Abbey, Vice Chair of the Audit and Risk Management Committee, to move and second the recommendation. So moved. Second Mr. Mayor. So, voting on agenda item 11C, open the electronic voting system. Members, please cast their votes. Votes in favour 60, votes against 0, abstentions 1. So that is carried. <coughs> Item 11D, with reference to the Cabinet meeting held 26 of November 2018, minute 35 refers, the Council is requested to approve the quarter two budget monitoring report for revenue. I now invite Councillor Phil Davis, Leader of Council, and Councillor George Davis, Deputy Leader of Council, to move and second the recommendation as contained on pages 149 and 150 of your agenda papers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, voting on agenda item 11D, open the electronic voting system. Please cast your votes. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes in favour 60, votes against nil, abstentions 1. So that is carried. 11E, with reference to the Cabinet meeting held 26 November 2018, minute 36 refers, Council is requested to approve the quarter two budget monitoring report, Capital. I now invite Councillor Phil Davis, Leader of Council, Councillor George Davis, Deputy Leader of Council, to move the second recommendation as contained on pages 151 to 152 of your agenda papers. Thank you. Open the electronic voting system. We're voting on agenda item 11E. Members cast the votes. <coughs> Has everyone voted? Close the vote. against no abstentions 1, so that is carried. 11F, with reference to the Cabinet meeting held on 26th November 2018, minute 39 refers, Council is requested <coughs> to approve the Council Tax 2019-20 tax based discounts and exemptions and Council Tax Support Scheme. I now invite Councillor Phil Davis, Leader of Council, Councillor George Davis, Deputy Leader of Council, to move and second the recommendation as contained on pages 153 to 154 of your agenda papers. Thank you. Thank you. So you're voting on agenda item 11F, open the electronic voting system. Members, 
Please pass the votes. Thank you. Thank you. Has everyone voted? Close the vote. Votes against zero, abstentions one, so that is carried. 11G, with reference to cabinet meeting held 26 November 2018, minute 41 at first, council requested to approve the will together, getting the basics right, a new model for community engagement. Notice has been given of an amendment from the Liberal Democrat group, moved by Councillor Gilchrist and seconded by Councillor Caribea, listed on page nine of the agenda supplement. I now invite Councillor Phil Davis, Leader of Council, Councillor George Davis, Deputy Leader of Council, to move the second recommendation as contained on pages 155 to 158 of your agenda papers. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor, oh, um, I should ask Councillor Gilchrist and Councillor.